Most people recover from COVID in a couple of weeks, but there can be a lasting impact on your lungs that you have to see to believe. Our Jamie Perez shows us some of the striking images of what can happen inside your chest. So to really get an idea of what COVID looks like inside of us, we went to the experts at UW Health who showed us a side-by-side -side comparison of what normal healthy lungs look like compared to your lungs after you get COVID. The normal lungs, normal lung is mostly filled with air, so it's gonna be most uh, black on our CT scans. Smokers have a variety of different injuries, but most commonly we think about emphysema, and that happens over many, many years of smoking. Patients with COVID will have areas of white or gray in their lungs, very severe scarred lung, for all from COVID. After someone contracts COVID-19, the lungs get small, stiff, and scarred, explaining why so many people have difficulty breathing. When you have um, either scar tissue or inflammatory tissue in your lungs, it prevents oxygen from getting into your blood and carbon dioxide from leaving. And that's why um, some patients with severe COVID require supplemental oxygen or they may require even mechanical ventilation. Dr. Jeffrey Caney sees these types of images daily. While these pictures show the most severe cases, the virus could feel worse on those who have asthma or those who are smokers. So if you already have an underlying lung disease and then you add another insult on top of it, the two can uh, make breathing even more difficult. While it isn't clear whether COVID could trigger an asthma attack, Caney said it could make it worse. These patients may require oxygen for the rest of their life or even potentially need a transplant. And Caney said that COVID lungs actually look similar to how the lungs respond in some severe cases of the flu. The difference is that with COVID, the damage happens in a shorter period of time. It happens more often to more people. And for some, the scarring never goes away. For News 3 Now, I'm Jamie Perez. Dr. Caney also said for long-term smokers who contract COVID, the virus concentrates on the parts of the lungs that are still good. It makes the patient more likely to be sick, require hospitalization, or even end up on a ventilator.